Hello everyone, I'm uh, Robert Misku from Pedal Consulting. Uh, we are an SME uh, in Slovakia and more importantly, a proud partner of uh, BioVoices project. Uh, today it is my privilege and, and uh, pleasure to welcome with us uh, uh, Ms. Rebecca Pogni, who is a professor of uh, physical chemistry uh, at the Department of Biotechnology, Chemistry and Pharmacy at the University of Siena. And equally important, uh, and this is why we're having Rebecca um, uh, with us today, is that she's coordinating the uh, Fish for Fish project. So welcome, Rebecca. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have you with us. Um, we have a brief uh, series of brief questions prepared for you. So uh, I'll shoot with the first one. Uh, what is the Fish for Fish project main goal? Okay, first of all, I would like to thank you for this uh, interview and to thank the BioVoices project. And uh, the main goal of our project is uh, to produce an active packaging uh, material to be uh, starting from uh, crustaceans, oasis like uh, shrimps, crabs and uh, lobsters. And um, so we want uh, to produce uh, an active uh, material in order to enhance the fish, the shelf life of fish products. And uh, furthermore, this uh, material is uh, biodegradable and home compostable. And, uh, and this uh, implies that we can uh, reduce the, the plastics for uh, packaging and in the environment and um, this uh, can have also an economic advantages for uh, uh, in the fish sector as uh, packaging in the fish supply chain represents uh, one of the the most important tasks to reduce uh, food wastes so um, we can uh, we can um, the project represents a, a special case uh, in which uh, um, fish wastes marine wastes are uh, used to produce a high added value products to be, to be used in the same sector in the fishery sector and uh, the, the the project has been co-funded under the european maritime and fishery funds by the eu under the lab uh, the blue lab uh, section and it is started from november the 1st uh, 2019 Thanks, Rebecca. Uh, and uh, I'm also curious to know uh, how do you actually promote as a project uh, transition towards a uh, fossil free future? Okay, uh, according to the EU strategy for uh, plastics in the circular economy, by 2030, uh, all plastics packaging on the EU market has been replaced by uh, plastic uh, recyclable and uh, reusable. So in this context, our project can give a contribution reducing the use of common plastics and marine litter. And the material has been also designed considering the end of life of the product after its use. Sounds good. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, if you can tell us about the, the added value of uh, your packaging. Okay, at the end of the project, uh, we will uh, produce a uh, trace and a film for uh, fish uh, uh, packaging. And uh, the material is uh, made by chitosan, obtained by chitin, which is uh, the main component of the crustacean exoskeletons, and the lignin nanoparticles. So, chitosan has uh, uh, important properties because uh, uh, it, it, is, uh, it, it uh, shows uh, antimicrobial and antioxidant, antioxidant properties, can be used as fertilizers and uh, to enhance uh, plants growth. At the same time, uh, lignin has uh, uh, UVVs and shielding properties. So we can uh, confer in this way to our packaging uh, material uh, important uh, properties uh, to enhance uh, fish shelf uh, uh, the, the shelf life of the fish uh, products and this uh, represents also an important economic uh, support for the fishery factor, sector a sustainable uh, uh, 
solution for the environment and the consumers and uh, we uh, have identified this uh, type of material for uh, for the fish sector but in general can be used also for uh, the packaging of uh, other perishable food mm -hmm. and the uh, last question that i have uh, is uh, the the end of life so uh, how do you manage that uh, okay, as I told you before, our material is biodegradable and home compostable. So uh, the process uh, is uh, carbon negative as we can give back uh, to soil carbon, but uh, uh, chitosan can, can be used as fertilizers uh, as, uh, for, for the plants as it is uh, rich in uh, nitrogen. And um, so um, we can... Uh, our project can reduce the marine litter, but at the same time, we can reduce also carbon dioxide emission. And the process is a process at zero waste and can contribute also to soil health. Well, thank you very much, Rebecca, for your time. Uh, very interesting. Uh, for all our um, uh, people, people who are watching this video, uh, if you want to know more information, uh, there is a link to Fish for uh, Fish uh, project uh, and also Bio Voices project. So feel free to get more information from there or reach out directly to to Rebecca or her colleagues uh, if they need to know more. Thank you very much again, and uh, we look forward to working with you, collaborating with you on uh, different occasions. Thanks. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye.